Praise, praise Master, Master Jesus. Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. God, God is a good, good God. God. God is awesome God. Yes, yo. He is. God is wonderful. He's faithful. He never fell. He never changed. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lord. Yes. So He's awesome. My husband had a dream about Marcus Rogers. I believe everybody know who he is. Um, what's so strange to me about this dream is when my husband is working long hours, he hardly can remember his dreams. So uh, this one right here surprised me just because he remembered it. <laughs> and, uh, and I had uh, two dreams too that made me I'm like, wow. Yeah. So one is going gonna, is gonna to be Bill Gates. Bill Gates, but uh, we're going to make a, a different video about that. Yes. Because these people are crazy, man. <laughs> They're crazy. I know. But God is always going to be exposing their evil deeds. Uh, so Absolutely. look out for that video. It's going to be, uh, it's going to come out anytime soon. So in the dream, I, me and my wife was, it was like, uh, it set up like uh, a room or living room, something like that. Mm -hmm. Then there was a couple of people, like a couple of, Maybe two or three people around there, but I could not remember their face. But I saw Marcos Rogers. So in that maze, so Marcos Rogers was coming towards where we was, uh, you know, uh, sitting. So <clears throat> when you, you know, when you look at Marcos, he he begin to all of a sudden some things begin to change. He begin to be so happy, excited, and he he, he begin to pick up some some things that he lost you know some some things like it was like a uh, teddy bears and all that just uh you know mm -hmm. bringing like somebody so happy so joyful that a uh, wow after all this while he's restoring back after all this while he's restoring his joy you know he, he was just a very great atmosphere in that drawing for him uh he was so excited and uh, we were so happy for him like we was like wow that's this is awesome this is a great news so and uh you know the, he was having emotion because after all god you know with his infinite mercy was able to restore everything that he has lost joy peace uh, 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 uh like it was a lot and you know me and my wife we always happy when we see some things change in the life of uh, a lot of people, whether our family members or friends or ministers, you know, we want to see people do great in life. We want to see ministries keep on rising. We want to see people standing against the, the, the prosperities and powers, you know. So this dream, I, I, was, I was very impressed to see this dream. And I was like, wow, isn't God good? And today is uh, 19th of November. 2022 that was that was a dream and generally we are very very happy to hear this dream yeah and um i'm excited for his future his whole family's future and uh i believe we haven't seen nothing yet yes. and uh while i was getting prepared to do this video the lord gave me the scripture i'm gonna read it Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24 in NIV. One who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Amen. Amen. I love that scripture. And uh, I'm going to just end it here. End it with great news. And uh, we're going to keep his ministry up in prayer as well as everybody else yeah. that is in ministry, because we all need to work together for the goodness of Christ Jesus. Yeah. We're all um, helping the kingdom of God, yeah. bringing souls to Christ is helping the kingdom of God. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited. Yes. There is nothing God could not do. One thing that I'm going to encourage a lot of ministers out there, you know, no matter what, uh, uh, just keep on striving so much. Just yeah. keep on pushing. You know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against prosperities and powers in high places. Mm -hmm. One thing I love about God is this. If you are walking 
for God. He will always show you signs that you are strongly working for him. If you're stepping away from his calling or his presence, he will also let you know. If you read Old Testament, you see so many times he was correcting the Israelites, correcting Moses and all these ministers that are leading his people. You know, God always knows when we are working for him then if anything happened, he would definitely give us dreams and vision or speak to us for corrections. And as soon as we are still in line with God, he will begin to reveal more to people. Hey, this person, I'm pleased with this person. This person, I'm not pleased with this person. You know, God will always reveal greater things in the dreams you know whether yes. sometimes whether we you you want to see that dream or not mm -hmm. god will also bring those dreams mm -hmm. you know and uh that's that's great thing about god mm -hmm. and the bible made it very clear he will have mercy on whom he will have mercy he will have compassion on whom he will have compassion it's all about god on who, how he's going to handle his business all we need just to speak what God has revealed unto us. If there is any meaning to the dreams, we bring it out there and we keep on moving. That's how everyone in the body of Christ is supposed to be doing. When God reveals something to you, if it's a warning, you bring out the warning. If it's to encourage people, you encourage people. Yes. If it's to, to tell people to be, a, 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 be on guard, be on a light, you let people know it's not about you. When you are doing you you know okay this is a dream that i had you know this is the truth you, you are not making it up you are not trying to play mind control or mind game you know what god is speaking yeah you're working for god but when you begin to you know you are not praying enough you're not fasting enough you're not reading your bible enough all of a sudden satan can give you a dream yes. and you think oh, okay oh i got this wow you know, you know you ha you don't have relationship with God. You know you are not close to God. So when people are exposing the truth, we always say this: if you are exposing the truth, make sure that you are in a good relationship with God. But if you are not in a good relationship with God, don't bother bringing up dreams or visions because Satan also brings dreams for distraction. Satan also brings dreams to put confusion. But God will always bring warning. He's a must. God will bring warning with peace. God will bring correction with peace. Yes. And let us know, hey, he is our God. You know, nobody is perfect and nobody will ever be perfect. Let's, yes. let's make, it, make, make that clear. Well, God knows his people. We need to really stand against the warfare that is coming upon the body of Christ. And uh, we, whenever we see something that is not right, we must call it out in That's the leadership, it. That's it. in the mega churches, in even what Pope is doing. We have to call it out. Yes. Because when you call some things out like this, you really sh showing. Yes, I'm speaking the truth that I need to speak. And mostly when you have a big platform, a lot of people out there, they're scared to even bring up any rebuke or any correction. No, it's, it's wrong. If you mm -hmm. know that God is speaking to you, that this is not right, mm -hmm. even if God is not speaking to you, but you know that this is not right, right. you call it out. Right. So I, I pray and I hope that this will encourage uh, Marcos and his family. Amen. I see something that God is bringing forth from this dream. He was emotional in that dream. To God be the glory. Who knows how to restore, rescue, and make a way for his people. Amen. I love it. You said it. You said it all. I, I, I was about to say, you know, say a little bit more and you touched on it. You know, this is what, uh, what the Lord have us to build this ministry for is to bring correction, yeah. you know, and, uh, I, I noticed when, you know, in the beginning of our ministry, people was not used to mm -hmm. correction at all. Mm -hmm. And we was just getting hate, 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 hate. But the Lord told us to stand firm, keep yeah. doing what you're supposed to do. This is what we're supposed to do. Yeah. And uh, if someone is willing to change and we're excited about it, yes. we are excited about change. That's what, uh, what humbleness is all about. Yeah. 
if we could get more ministers will humble themselves. Cause me and my husband, we, we stay humble. We have to, cause you know why we listen to our dreams. God gets onto us yes. in dreams and we correct it immediately because yeah. uh, Satan, he's ready to kill, steal and destroy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much. God is good. Awesome. God. We love you guys. Remember, keep on praying. Keep on believing. Be faithful. Amen. Bye.